In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up Optimize Member and integrate it with Stripe so you can take payments on your website. So firstly, we're going to go to stripe.com and from here on the Stripe homepage, uh, let's just get the slider across here, we're going to go to the option here for sign up. Okay, now you go to the sign up and from here you'd put in your name and email, get yourself registered. Um, Stripe will ask you for some more information about your business and what you plan to do. Um, I've seen one case where they do actually ask for more um, identification from the person, but that may depend on your business and your retail type. But generally it's a pretty quick process. You can literally be up and running with a Stripe account in about five minutes or so. So I'm going to log into my account now and jump straight in the dashboard. And once we're inside the dashboard, we're going to go to the top right. I'm going to hover over my name and just go to account settings. And that's going to bring up some details for your account. Now yours will obviously look different to mine. You'll have your own details in there. Um, the next place we're going to go to is API keys and we're going to go to webhooks as well. These are two areas that we need to get to from here. So if um, I go to API keys and you'll see we have a test key and we have a publisher key and we also have a live secret key and a live publisher key. So the test keys are obviously for testing your account, live keys are when you go live. So what I'm going to do initially for this tutorial, I'm just going to take my test keys. So I'm going to copy them from here, keyboard, um, Mac, key and C. If you're using shortcuts on the keyboard, you can use control C or obviously you can right click and copy. So we're going to copy that. Now I work in tabs, so I've got a tabbed browser open here. So I can just jump over back to my optimized member screen. And from here, I want to navigate down to other gateways. If you don't already have Stripe enabled and you haven't enabled it yet, go to other gateways. And from there, you'll see the option here, which shows Stripe. You want to make sure you tick that and then click Save Changes. And that will refresh and then you'll see Stripe options appear on the left hand side. So if I just go over to here, we've got Stripe options. And the first thing we're going to do is connect this to our Stripe account. So expand Stripe account details and you can read a bit here all about Stripe what Optimize Member contains. Optimize Member has a lot of detailed instructions about how it works and all the different features and everything you read here although there's a lot of text it clearly explains what you need to do and how things work. Okay so it's always worth reading something here if you think something can be done or can't be done um, but it's worth reading through this. So the first thing we're going to do we're going to put in our Stripe secret key. You can see actually I've already got mine in here so you would just paste your key into there. And then what we're going to do, we're going to get our publisher key. So we go back into Stripe and then we're going to copy the second one here. I'm copying my publishable key. So again, copy that key back here on the um, optimized member screen. I'm going to paste in the key here. So once they're both pasted in, um, scroll down and then just click save changes reason I do this just so we know that the Stripe details that we've entered you know are going to stay there. The next thing we're going to do is put in the, what's called the webhook. So if you expand this option, click on here to expand and what we do is we copy the URL which is shown to us by Optimize Member and we're going to, now going to take this and go and put it inside our Stripe account. So let's go back over to Stripe and inside Stripe I'm going to click on webhooks. Now I actually already have this site in here and I've got it over here on the um, left where it shows test. All you would do is click on the add URL here and you'd put in the URL that you just copied from your optimized member account and you would choose whether it's going to be a live or test mode depending on what you're in. So what we're doing now is we're telling optimized member and or we're telling Stripe that this is the site connected to optimize a member. So we're just connecting them both together so that when things happen in Stripe it knows which site it's um, redirecting or sending data back to and from. Okay, So this is what we're doing. This is the connection that we're doing between the both. Once you've done that, that's all you need to do in Stripe. Okay, So you can close it down and log out. And that's it done then. From then on we don't have to go back in Stripe. So let's go back over to Optimize Member. We've got that um, We've got our IPN, you know, put into Stripe. Let's just go back to the Stripe account details. Now looking down here, we have some other options. We also have the image branding URL. This is the image that's shown actually on the Stripe 
um, pop-up form when we're looking to get the payment in. We'll cover that in another video, but generally the basic stuff you want to put in here is your business name. This will be the same name that you've already added in your Stripe account. Okay, going down further, you've got the option to validate the customer's zip code um, that matches their billing address. I have this set to yes, you might want to have it set to no, that's your choice. I'm in test mode, so I've got test mode selected here. And enable login, I've got this turned off as well, okay? So with test mode, you can pretty much test your whole site, make sure payments are going through using the test card details that Stripe provide. Okay, so it's pretty good like that. It allows you to go jump in and test stuff, see how things work, test how logins, emails are coming through, how members are joining, what pages they get redirected to. You can test everything, and then once you're ready, you can just turn it into live mode. So they're the sort of basic settings inside our account. Um, from here, we also have the options to set up our confirmation emails, our modification confirmation email, and our capability confirmation emails, and so on. Okay, These are all sort of different emails that people are sent and existing members are sent, to whether they upgrade or downgrade features inside their account. Okay, What I'm going to do next is create a form. So just real quickly, jump and get a form put onto our web page. So we go to Stripe Pro Forms here. And in here, we've got the option where we take each form that we want to create and put into Optimize Press Pages. And if I just expand this one, let's go this one here, the bronze, if I expand it. And you can see here, we can create a form in here choosing the price and the different days, how long there's a trial for, if there's not a trial, if it's recurring, how long the recurring lasts. We can build these forms entirely inside Optimize Member here. And then we generate the form code and we copy this um, text below here. I'm not going to do it this way. I'm actually going to show you another way how you can add these buttons even quicker into your membership pages. So what I've done, I've created this page earlier. This is um, a page where I'm going to put a payment form in. So what I'll do is I'll just open up the live editor. And I've got a simple page here. I've put a three column layout, which is obviously the smaller columns are on the, the right and the left. So I'll click add L element and then I'm going to choose member. I want membership order buttons. So we've got that one there, membership order buttons. From here, I'm going to choose my button style. So I'll just go for this one for now and I'll change my text to say by now and I'll just maybe make the button a bit smaller. And then I'll scroll to the bottom and click next. And from here, I'm going to choose my payment gateway, so Stripe. The membership level, I'm going to just go for bronze for now for the for this um, tutorial. Um, from here, it'd be you'd put in the days that you're going to offer. So I, I'm not going to be offering any trials, um, but you can choose what you want to put in here. Like you'd, so, you'd put in your price that you're going to sorry, how many days? So it'd be like you'd put in five. If you're doing a trial, it could be seven days at, you could put in a price, say like a pound, okay? And then after the pound, you want to charge maybe 37. Actually, I'm going to choose USD. So I'm doing this actually in dollars. So I'll leave it as USD here. So for this, we're setting up a trial here. So it's a seven day trial at $1. And then afterwards, I want to charge $37 monthly recurring for an ongoing access. And there's loads of options here, okay, that you can do. You can have um, right the way down to lifetime access, one year access, no trial, no re non recurring. These would be things like fixed term memberships. So if you're trying to fix um, a membership like a one time payment for one week access, um, or you can obviously go for one time, one year, and right down the bottom, one time, lifetime access. So lots to choose from here. A lot of you, if you're just doing monthly membership, will go with a monthly, or you might go with a yearly recurring charge. They're obviously the most common ones we see. And we have currency and then we have a description. So we could just put in here something like bronze membership. And then I'll scroll down here and I'll click insert. You can see here it shows we've inserted a Stripe Pro form. From there, I will just click save. I'll click save and close. And then I'll just refresh this page. Okay, so here's the page, exactly how, is it, how it would look to a user who is joining the site. They could fill out all their details here. Um, I've got optimized member set so that the password is automatically generated and emailed to the user. Okay, so if you're wondering why you're not seeing an email, a password feature, that's why. Again, that's something you can control. We'll show you that in other videos. 
and for I'd fill out the details and then you just click add billing method and once you click that it pops up with a stripe pop up and from here you would put in your details and then you simply click buy now and that is how you get your a stripe order form on your page that's the quickest way to do it just using the membership order buttons so just to recap on what you have to do you have to set up your stripe account first um, you want to then go and get your API key, so you go and get your secret key, which you paste in here, and then you go and get your publishable key, which you paste in here as well. Next step is you get your, your Stripe webhook from inside Optimize Member. So we copy this URL here, and we go over to Stripe, and we paste it into the webhook section, section where we added that URL in. Once you do that, that's the two connected together. You're now ready to take orders on your site using Stripe as your payment gateway.